some slides, they're not important. Of course they're important. So it works, it works. Ah, this is the first time I put my laptop to a I mentioned in uh, my introduction that I am to provide a tea, so I've got a slide to the tea today. So, and I've got a title uh, slide that is about adopting random space policy. For this event, and here's my I'm going to do three things, introduce myself, so talk about the subject, and yeah. have you talked about it? So, my name is Ad Hagesov, I'm a Dutch Wikipedia. I started editing in 2005. Um, my experience is, uh, on a Dutch Wikipedia, people get generally rude with each other. And somebody uh, complain about it. 90% uh, of editors is male. And what I hear from the new female editors, oh, I got some bad experience. I've edited two times, and now I, I will never edit again. And this, this is a challenge. If we, we want to attract more editors, we should work. How can we do? Uh, for this event, there is a friendly space policy. Who is aware there is a friendly space policy? You have, you have had, had to tap tick on your application. Does it, anybody understand English? Okay. Yeah, that's all right. So, somebody, Jan Bart Vrede, he told me, check if everybody understands English, because you can get a hard time. So, uh, and from that I got an idea, because it, it's a, the whole title of French Space Policy got a positive title to me. It says, what we want to accomplish, we want to have a friendly encounter. And I would like to have a friendly encounter online as well, on Wikipedia. So how can we accomplish it? The terms of use, they do exist. And Philip is gone, he knows everything about it, but they're in that long list of what you're not allowed to do. But it's not what we actually want. So, um, I don't have any draft policy. Uh, because I want to have a discussion first. If, what are your experiences? Is it worthwhile to start a discussion and a process to think about a solution to a problem? Is there a problem? Should there be a solution? Should we face a challenge? And how we can how can we move forward? My first idea is to to to, to do it. I will check hands. Would anybody want to check hands with me and introduce yourself? My name is Atakso. And your name is? I'm Kavya Minogov. Let me speak of Malayalam from India. Malayalam from India. Okay, nice to meet you. Sydney. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And you're on the FTC committee and editing Wikipedia, English Wikipedia. Alice, nice to meet you. Hi. Alice is on the board. My name is Lane Raspberry. I'm here representing the Wikimedia LGBT group. 
Okay, nice to meet you. Feel free to express yourself. <laughs> Hi. Hello, I'm a local volunteer of this conference, so okay. you can just ignore me. <laughs> okay, what is your you. name? My name is Wongsi. Hello, Wong my surname. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Fair nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Sumana Harihire Shura and I work for the Wikimedia Foundation. And I was the person who customized the friendly space policy and introduced it for Wikimedia Foundation technical events in January of 2012. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Wow, I, I didn't expect that and that's, that's very meaningful to me. Thank you. I, I didn't write it, you see. Um, the ADA initiative, which is a nonprofit that helps encourage women in open source software and in free and open culture like Wikipedia, they wrote a sample anti-harassment policy that they put online on the Geek Feminism Wiki and that they put under uh, CC0, actually, public domain so that anyone could adopt it. And uh, after some private discussions with many people in the larger Wikimedia technical community, the developers, and also at the foundation, um, including my bosses to check that they would have my back, um, I put a sample proposal on in a subpage of my user page on MediaWiki.org, and then I sent a very very short email to WikiTech L, the mailing list of the developer community, and I said, I don't think this will be controversial at all. This is very standard best practices, right? But I was thinking that we could have an anti-harassment policy, and it was some uh, some women at the foundation who are not engineers, actually. Uh, our former uh, administrative assistant for engineering, Dana Isakawa, and currently one of our designers, Heather Walls, who basically said, maybe we could have a nicer name for this. How about the friendly space policy? And uh, so basically no one really objected in the Wikimedia technical community to the sample anti-harassment policy. People were saying things like, this is great. Let's, let's expand it a little bit further. Hey, you forgot about like such and such. Like, Make sure you mention a list of things that are suggestions for things not to harass people about, like uh, nationality you know, or, or language or things like that. Um, and then it became a, a policy for Wikimedia Foundation technical events. And then a few other places adopted it. Wikimedia UK has adopted one for their in-person events. I believe the GLAM community may have adopted one for their in-person events. And then last year, Wikimania had adopted it for all of Wikimania DC. And there is, I believe, a, a slight variant that was there. And it was enforced at the time when someone made an inappropriate slide in a presentation and then immediately apologized for it when it was called into attention that it wasn't so great. Um, and then this year, at this Wikimania, we do have a friendly space policy as well. Um, so the Fortunately, we have had overall, as far as I'm aware, very, very few incidents, which were reasons that people might need to actually enforce the policy. But I think just a lot of people just feel safer knowing that if something happens, they don't have to just bear it alone and say, well, that's just how people are. Like, they have some recourse. And it empowers them to say, hey, I'm not, like, I've actually heard people joke about it a little bit at one event. People would say, oh, I would do that, but that's against the friendly space policy. But that kind of joking means it's part of our culture, the same way we joke about assume good faith or be bold, right? Anyway, sorry for this little speech, but I, I figured since we're sort of taking the next step here, I wanted to give people a little background. I think that it is useful to have small discussions with people who are interested before maybe making a proposal. And uh, maybe when you're proposing it, it sometimes it is useful to just be like, here it is, and be, be quite brief, actually, because maybe a lot of people are on your side. But that's just my thinking. Okay, um, thank you, Sumana. You're welcome, uh, thank you for proposing this, this okay. session. Okay, so how did it work for in-person events? It's draft policy. Uh, send an email to a mailing list. Okay, I don't think this is controversial. And if nobody objects, in person. So that works for in-person events. Um, has anybody thought about how this would fly on Wikipedia itself? I have, I don't have a proposal, I just want to tell a story. 
that's a quite old story because it's uh, years ago. So years ago in the German Wikipedia, there was just a kind of uh, kind of activism among a group of contributors who were really thinking about how could we react on personal attacks. And um, they made up a kind of private closed policy in any case that they realize that someone is personally attacked on discussion pages or on his own user page, then they just stop it, revert the edit and just saying, so we are no we are we are not willing to accept this here. And this was quite a funny thing. It was discussed for a very short time among the uh, administrators of uh, the German Wikipedia at that time. And it worked for some time. But then, of course, the group changed. So those persons who are really committed to this kind of, kind of self-regulation were no longer that active at administrators. Mm -hmm. And so slowly but steadily, this policy was just uh, flowing away. So today, we have to accept that personal, the question if a personal attack is a personal attack is no longer connected how the individual feels about this, but it is a, a question of wording. And intelligent people just avoid some signal words and kicking you in the ass, just not telling you, but using more, yes, more flexible uh, wordings. And that's really, I think, that's scary. And it puts those who are really fluent and good in, 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 in making speeches and uh, that kind of thing. They put them on a more powerful level. And those who are really feeling offended and mm -hmm. affected and uh, they don't have any they don't have any chance to do anything about it. Um, another issue that is on Wikipedia English about this is because we have so many people who are um, have English um, speak English and edit uh, English Wikipedia from all over the world. I mean I feel like there are times when people um, Claim, oh, in my culture, saying that is not a personal attack. I mean, you know, you know, they they mm -hmm. they kind of fall back on that. Whenever I find it, you know, I mean, hurting someone's feelings. If you know you're doing that, I mean, you know, and I, and I don't disagree that that probably there are language barriers. And some things don't seem as offensive to other people in other languages, but um, in some ways, it comes down to well, if you know you hurt somebody's feelings or you hurt them, you know, even if it was an avert. You know, there's, I, I believe there's a way you should act as part of having a friendly policy, you know, I mean, uh, because, you know, if it was accidental, then you should be fine with, like, fixing it. Yeah, know? sure. Right, exactly. Apologizing. Yeah, apologizing okay. or, or not minding that somebody reverted you. Be thankful that somebody reverted you because you, do, you weren't aware that you were um, saying something that was, that was hurtful to somebody else. So what, what is about best practice in, in dealing with personal attacks? Personal attacks is... It's a message to use talk pads, somebody says something, you feel bad about it. And what you do is, you, you refer to if you say stop doing this, or how do you react to it in, in general? Well, I mean, I think that like, what really works best is somebody else comes in and, and reverts it and, and goes and explains to that person very calmly, you know, what the problem was. I mean, that's that's ideal the way to do it. If the 
person even has to go to a, a board, like you know, a board and like report it somewhere else, that tends to just make things worse often. So okay. that, I mean, the problem is like a lot of times that's what has to happen though, you know. But if somebody sees it, then they can intervene. Okay. You know, I think that's so. It's, so that's collaborative. It's working together, uh, taking care of each other. It, it, it's behavior. It's not policy. Maybe you could we could write a policy. Okay, this is the best way to deal with the such an issue. That's a, that's a good idea. It's not something to, to, to work on. Yeah. I, I know I don't know every other wiki, but like you know, one of the strong policies is that um, you know we strongly believe in the freedom of speech. And that, that you know, in talk page discussions, you have the right to like comment and. We a lot of points of view to be have feel free and safe to like comment. So part, you know, part of the issue is like there is this idea that you know when somebody comments, you don't mess with someone else's comment. You know, like most of the time is believe that that comment should stand. You know, and it's like a you know it's things should go in a certain order, and you know everything should get archived at once. I mean, you know, that's more or less the way people view things. You know, right? So it does get to be an issue about who gets to decide. What should be taken away, archived? You know, it is. It gets to be a sensitive issue because that's the dynamic that's the issue. Like, at least not from my perspective. Okay. Some new, some new people in the room. Um, uh, I've shaken hands with everybody who was already here. I am being friendly. I'm Hi. Hi. Is my name and your. Fatih Gokal. I'm from Slovakia. Slovakia. Mm -hmm. Most of the Slovakian community. I'm Aaron. Uh, and I live on the English Wikipedia. English Wikipedia. Yeah. How's your watch? Oh, I'm missing someone. All right. Katie Tan, I'm from Wikimedia UK. Oh, I just mentioned Wikimedia UK when I mentioned the friendly space policy and how Wikimedia UK started using it for their in person events. Oh, we have a. Yes, Ken, more people. Come in, hi. This is the friendly space policy. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Luis? Luis? Hello, what's Ziga. There's power here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Tony Power just German and you're from Germany. Germany. Okay. So I've I've done an introduction and uh, there's a French space policy for in person events. And could we have a, a, a such a policy for online? Do we need it? Is there a problem to solve? And we've heard some, some, some examples on German and English Wikipedia. If what happens is personal attacks on, on talk pages and people don't like it. And people get examples of how, how to deal with it. And there was that other people step in and said, no, no, we don't want to have personal attacks. And that's probably better than that the attack person is uh, defending uh, him or herself. Does anyone has perhaps an example of a try uh, to, to implement such a policy so on, on our projects? Okay, uh, I thought, sorry, I should have waited for you to finish that sentence because um, there are some communities online that have online you know, civility policies or codes of conduct that seem to work for them, um, but I don't have anything Wikimedia specific. Uh, there's uh, you know, the Django community, which is an open source community, just implemented one, uh, Debian and Ubuntu and some other open source software communities have some. Um, I do wanna mention that following on the friendly space policy being implemented at I mean, it's specifically labeled as being only for technical events, but there are some people in the wiki, in the, the media wiki world, which is a Wikimedia community, who have started saying, hey, that's against the friendly space or something, even though it actually doesn't technically apply, but they're seeing that, like, well, this is the spirit of things. Um, also, our bug wrangler, Andre Clapper, has referred to the Wikimedia Foundation Code of Conduct, which gives our principles for how we should be acting and says, hey, 
uh, you know, when he, when he sees someone acting in Bugzilla, in the bug reporting uh, website for Wikimedia, that someone is being a bit jerky, he says, hey, let me take a look at this code of conduct. And they usually don't say, well, that's only for foundation staffers or anything. They sort of get it. So sometimes it's helpful, even though, again, these things are not technically applicable, but I, they still show what the values are supposed to be. Luis, maybe you know something about like Wikimedia communities that have actually done something. Wikimedia like communities? No, all, all of my examples are from open source communities, but right. um, but, but, I, but I don't know of anybody who's ever I don't know of any community that's ever regretted doing it. That might be one way of putting it. But if there are people here who know more about any Wikipedia than I do, but I have seen all the English, English Wikipedia, Wikipedia colon is a film. Is that policy covers that enough of what we are talking here? Most people believe it's it's lost. Same with what Alex was saying. How originally when it was written, the people all understood what it meant and understood it to be this value. But over time, it's really you know degraded, and it's just not support for it. People just degraded in the sense of. Um, just people basically fall behind saying, oh, well, you know, I come from this country and saying it in that country doesn't, isn't, that isn't an attack, you know, and, you know, and then people don't come and support, you know, I mean, like, they see it as a dispute then, and, it, and people stay away from it, you know, they, they don't care about support. And, and it, like, that, that report, I don't think before you got here, you didn't hear me say that, like, the reason I think that falls apart is because if you really didn't intend it as an attack on somebody or something like that, that you wouldn't mind it being reverted by someone else, right? I mean, if you inadvertently said something that bothered somebody, then really you wouldn't have minded if somebody reverted it and came and told you, right? So that's why, to me, it seems like it's, you know, falls apart, if, you know, when it, if it's not working anymore, that really shouldn't be effective. But it's, it's very effective on the Wikipedia English for people to say that now, to claim that it, you know, they didn't realize you know, that it was an attack. Why, why do you think that's changed? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not quite sure. I mean, people just say they think it's just a less. Um, I think it's a game. For some people, it's a game. So they avoid saying you're an asshole. But they love saying, oh, one could believe that you could be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's fine. Because theoretically, it's no longer a personal attack. So this is a gaming experience, I have, which does not make it any better. I have heard at least like when I brought up um, within the Wikimedia technical community, uh, hey, should we have something that's like a straight up code of conduct? I spoke uh, just as with the friendly space policy. Like I canvassed a little first. Oh no, I said canvas. Um, uh, among people that I knew, and including people at the foundation and the engineering department. And some of them basically said, no, we shouldn't have a code of conduct policy because people will just game it. Um, instead, what we should do is we should just make sure that the people who run the spaces, like our mail, like the people who are technically the mailman administrators, the people who are the administrators of Bugzilla, the people who have ops on IRC, the people who have administrative powers on our wiki, and so on, all of them feel arbitrarily empowered to cut someone off for being a jerk. Like a little bit more anarchic spirit of just like, well, I've decided you're a jerk now, and um, to not give people the opportunity to game it. I don't know how I feel about that. But just in the last year, we have moved a little bit in that direction. For instance, I've said to Wikitech L moderators, would you please mob that person? Because I think they're being a jerk. And then maybe they're a little bit more likely to just put that person on mod. But I'm not sure I feel comfortable with saying, oh, let's avoid having policies because some people gain them. Because part of the point of the policy is, just as it was with the friendly space policy in person, everyone else has to feel safe. And everyone else has to feel like they have recourse. And a policy is a little bit more, in my opinion, reassuring than, oh, don't worry, there are like frontier sheriffs around who will shoot people. <laughs> I'm sorry, that probably wasn't the best analogy to make in a place that doesn't have a lot of uh, people from North America. Uh, I don't want unaccountable people roaming around 
and banning people as much. I think it is better in some circumstances than no policy and people all feeling afraid to respond to bad behavior and incivility. But on the other hand, what I really want is shared aligned values and artifacts of those aspirations so that we can all point to them and share and, and share and look at them. But that's just my opinion. It, it's, it's, what you bring up, Susamani, so you're, you're pointing to, to sysops and administrators to act in situations that someone behaves badly and refer them or ban them or send them a message, okay, what you're doing is inappropriate. And set precedent. Do people, I mean, what but, do other but, people think? Oh, 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 okay. yeah. well, but but there, there, are, there are many administrators, many systems. Are they? And they don't necessarily how? align on sharing of their values. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Which values are, are they working on? Which direction have they, which, which direction has they gone to, to act? Or do you just assume? They will step in and act if someone behaves badly. Just for their being an administrator or system. Or should, should, should policy direct the administrators and systems? Or should it be a little bit more like, I don't know, the British Constitution, unwritten, you know, where everyone's just like, well, that, that isn't done, you know? And, and they sort of make, make precedent by doing it. I don't know. I was going to say that I think that sometimes that, that I don't know exactly how to convey this, but I think there have been times whenever I have been successful when, uh, with working with people when I point out how um, we can have the reverse audience, and that you know you could be speaking on a talk page to your grandmother, you know, and people tend to not like they tend to be more respectful of like their grandmother, <laughs> and they, they don't think of that. I mean, they think of like um, you know I'm younger, I'm here, I'm talking to you know my pals or whatever, and they may you know they, oh he'll get over me saying this to them. You know what I mean? So I think that sometimes just making people more aware of that there are a variety of people there who read this and, and that kind of thing it can be helpful. I don't it doesn't it isn't the total solution, but I do believe there are people who just don't even think about it all. Okay, thank you. Sissika president of the Dutch board and he's still a council member of the WCA. You say still? <laughs> he stepped down as last year. Yes. Oh. But the council isn't dissolved, so he's still a council member. I'm representing the Dutch chapter. Uh, you have a question. And I've well, I was there. going to comment on that comment about uh, the um, guidelines and so on. I think it is important to have a guideline, but you can never make it specific enough. Yeah. So maybe have a general guideline saying, you know, we don't accept this kind of talk without having specific examples. In my experience, when we try to have examples, people just find other examples that they can use and it just keep going that way. So instead of having examples to say, we don't allow rude talk, that's all we need to do. But it also depends on the admin's sort of perception of what it is. So if, if, if it is a, um, or the admins decide, still kind of decide whether it actually is an, uh, an attack or isn't. So it kind of has two aspects combined, right? There is a guideline, but it's still up to someone to decide. I think this has somewhat improved the situation. That puts, a lot of, that puts a lot of pressure on the people who make the decision. Which can be okay if you trust those people and you empower those people, but if they feel if they feel they don't have the support of the community, then they're going to narrow and narrow and narrow what what they say no to, right? And I think maybe that's part of what you were saying earlier about degrading. That over time, you know, what the rule gets applied to gets narrowed and narrowed. People play the game. Um, so you have to, I think, you know, my experience from, from other communities is that to fight that you have to empower the people who are the judgment makers and support them, you know, and that's scary, right? <laughs> um, because that means you have to trust them, but that's the only way, um, in my experience, to broaden those, those rules. Well, sure it's scary, but that's why you elect them 
into, yeah, yeah. into being admins, right? That's the... So let me, yeah. Okay, let's, let's, just a yeah. question here first. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, you want to say something? Yeah, I do want to say something. Uh, so something that everybody's talking about here is having a, a real set of behavior guidelines. And the premise behind this is that if somebody is doing a personal attack, then the attacker should have some guidance and there should be some some way of preventing the attacker from doing this again or somebody should talk to the attacker. But I, I agree with what, what you were saying that it's not always possible to uh, correct the attacker or guide the attacker. And what I would like to see is instead of concentrating on the attacker, some support for the victim. So it, regardless of whether the attacker has broken a policy or whether the attacker can be convinced that they've done something wrong, if the person is the victim and they're making some kind of complaint, then regardless of what you can do to the attacker, I, I want the victim to have some support. And as a societal precedent for where this has happened, uh, in many major cities around the world, there's LGBT community centers. And historically, LGBT persons and LGBT allies, they've been the targets of discrimination. And in many cultures, actually harassing or attacking LGBT people is a cultural value. It's something that mm -hmm. the society actually wants. Mm -hmm. And so you can't go to the attackers and say you shouldn't be doing this because from their perspective, the attack is a good thing that they're doing. So what the LGBT centers have done is they said, well, you can come to us and you'll get support. And even if we can't give you justice, there's a community of people here who know what it, what it feels like, and you can at least make your complaint, be heard, and you can take some relief. Yes. And the, there's other people who, who know what's happening for you. So if, if we were to ever have a friendly space policy, I wouldn't want it to only be focused on what kind of punishments can this policy lead to. I'd want it to have some kind of route so that even if somebody has a complaint, and even if it's not, they're complaining about something that doesn't violate the friendly space policy, they can get some support and just be heard, that's all. I think also advice, I mean, the whole, I mean, this is very, very difficult situation because the reality is people who are trolls are really good at saying and doing things that only bother that person. Other people won't even know and mm -hmm. see it, really. Yeah. So, um, and so everyone else will, will think it's not a big deal. Um, and so um, understanding how to help that person and really, and sometimes it's, it's, the best advice you can try to give that person is, at times, to just try to go with it and let it like live through the moment and then they'll move on to someone else. It's very difficult to, to do that and, and I actually think you need to work with that person to let them know whether that's the route they want to go or they want you to remove the comments. Because sometimes leaving them and not letting the person know that you're reacting to it can be a good you know, antidote to it. So, but it's, you know, like having a way of having this written out and, and having um, people become, get more educated and helping give people options, like you were talking about having somewhere to go and let them understand what their options are is, uh, is a key part of it. Okay, thank you. I was curious, I, I have some other things I want to ask, but uh, just to follow, that's a really super good point, Lane. I'm really glad you brought it up that, um, like, we need to have um, places that are, like, real safe spaces for people to talk about situations they've been through that are, you know, at the very least unpleasant and sometimes abusive. Um, and one way I think about that is that there's sort of like, there's biases, right, and like pendulums and stuff. And so like, right now, I think we can all agree across most of the Wikimedia projects, the sort of bias is in, in favor of too much harshness and giving the benefit of the doubt to people who are too harsh mm -hmm. in how they communicate with each other. Um, and then there might be other parts of our lives where the benefit of the doubt is given to people who would prefer things to be pleasant and nuanced and subtle. And sometimes we denigrate that. We call it small talk. We call it political correctness. You know, we call it uh, mushy, or uh, you know, we, we have negative terms for that. Um, and having sub places within Wikimedia, where honestly the benefit of the doubt is given more to people who are pleasant and to pleasant modes of engagement, but that are accessible to lots of people. You know, they aren't just little little tiny warrens. They aren't exclusive, but, but they are still acceptable. That's an interesting nut to crack. 
I was wondering whether the tea house. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Too. I was, yeah, okay. Yeah. The tea house sounds yeah. like maybe a good like beachhead. I, there okay. it was supposed to be like you were supposed to thank people, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was kind of built into the, right. uh, to the framework. Of. And, and when I'm talking about those biases, I mean, the, um, so I know Luis might have been thinking about this a little bit when he talked about like what it is that when people feel squeezed because they feel like the expectations are very difficult. I think part of that is what do you get rewarded for and what do you get chastised for, you know? Um, when someone on English Wikipedia requests adminship, do they get more praise and votes and rewards for being really fast on the block button or for being great at making conversations go better and calming things down, you know? And not just on English Wikipedia, right, on all our projects. What are people getting praised for? What are people getting rewarded for? And if someone, great passion. and if people feel the they're getting, okay, well, if I block <laughs> this person and it's a mistake, and eh, people will understand. If I try to engage with them and they actually engage in more vandalism, people will blame me for not being fast enough to block them. You know, that kind of thing. Like, the culture of what people get blamed and reward for is one that I'm not sure about. And it's probably different on different projects, right? But I think that's something to consider. I would like to add an anecdote uh, within the uh, cultures in German Wikipedia. We have a little group of people who are dealing with new people. And on the mailing list, I once made a list of remarks you cannot say on Wikipedia, according to me, like your article is crap or shit. And one of these, uh, these, um, these people who are supposed to help new people uh, administrator even, uh, he said, what's the problem with that? So I don't say you are shit, I just say the article is shit. That's uh, freedom, of, uh, freedom of opinion, and uh, you can censor that, that I have the right to say my, my opinion on content. So normal people react like you when I tell this in my, in my uh, classes, but um, even those people who say I want to help new people, I don't understand it, and I think it's a fundamental neurobiological or psychological problem with those people and the people who attract. We attract, of course, people who are, as a, their hobby is to be alone at home and sit at the computer. Well, I think confrontation might be helpful. So later I met this person at a convention and, well, we, we are good friends or, or we, we are on good terms. And I said to him, hey, your glasses look rather shit. And he said, pardon? Your glasses, uh, I said, they look shit. What, what, what do you mean? Are they dirty or uh, besides that? But uh, did you chose uh, them yourself? It's so, it's so modern and so, looks so dated. And he, uh, well, uh, one, one word followed the other. And finally, he cried out, you're shit yourself. <laughs> well, and then I, I thought, well, this is uh, black pedagogics, I don't. I shouldn't go on, but um, <laughs> I, I, I explained to him why I was saying this, and then he, he uh, laughed like a farmer with uh, toothache, as I should say, <laughs> and he, um, he said, well, my reaction was wrong, I should have been more relaxed with uh, your remark, yes, but I think it got through to him, so this was to save face, of course, oh, of course. it got uh, through to him that this behavior um, is a problem. Um, what Lane was saying, eh, in some cultures, uh, beating homosexuals is a positive value. And yes, and what you said, uh, when, when you had the, uh, the, uh, the uh, recent changes, patrol, uh, the, the field guard, as they call it in the prison Wikipedia, and you are, you are defending Wikipedia, you use your administer, administrators or reverse button, fist against these assholes who are spamming, taking abuse of our great Wikipedia, this enemy of us, uh, we fight him. That's without nuanceation. Pushing the button is much more easier than, uh, than uh, automatically than we talk to people. I could imagine for uh, our Dutch chapter, it was an idea of me at first, when, when, I have, when I see a problem, then my comedy uh, mode gets on and I have funny ideas how you could make a comedy about that. But sometimes 
what the company was, how about we would have a telephone number, um, uh, login telephone came out to translate, Puma telephone. Okay. A, a yeah. telephone number where you can call when you have a problem. Yes, a helpline. Yeah. A helpline. Help yeah. And not helpline for how to write the user code, but uh, how to uh, deal with problems. And of course, the, uh, the aggressors uh, might not uh, phone there, but the victims, and you could help them how to deal with it better and make them understand that they are not strange or stupid or fags or whatever, but that they have the right to do what they do and the other one is the bully. Mm. And uh, I don't know what else could be uh, done in the process that uh, administrators ask to look after that. But I could imagine that my chapter would hire a person on a contract basis for two weeks or a month someone who's a mediator or a social psychologist, I don't know. And this person would be at the telephone line, maybe also training volunteers to be some hours a day available, and later write a report for what are the problems of the community. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, I want to react to, to what Simanas and, 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 and Siko Siko Mass bully. Is, is it, in general, harshness? of our critical discussion? Or is it bullying on the face of sometimes? Bullying we cannot accept. And it's a challenge worldwide to deal with bullying, for example, in the vertical place or at schools. There are media stories about suicide, young people, from which we learn, oh yeah, they were bullied seriously several countries, they are facing a problem, okay, how do we deal with this? What, what works and what doesn't work? Uh, so so anti uh, an anti-bullying policy is part of friendly space policy. And, and it's very hard to do. We, we can learn from all our experiments. What uh, Sydney said is, somebody else should step in, what you're doing is not okay. And that is the best approach. Uh, that's a best practice in, in dealing with bullying. I, I learned, but I got kids in school and big bullying problem on school. My kids don't face it. They're not a problem, but they should stand up more. Thank you all for being here. I thank you all for sharing your, your thoughts. It's gone on, in my perspective, very well. Uh, are there right, actions? Next. Are there actions? Hmm? Are there actions? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What are you doing next, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Actually, unless anybody really wants to rush to lunch. Okay. No, 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 no. no. It's part of wrapping up. 
where, where to move from here. And it's a great question. What are we going to do? And my question is back. What are you going to do? And uh, maybe uh, have a follow up discussion next year in, in London. Or one of my ideas is there's a diversity conference in Berlin in November 9. I would have a talk in Berlin about it. But that's two things I have in mind. Uh, and I have a question. There have been people typing things. Is, is that, has, has anybody taken notes? I didn't ask for notes. Okay, so I have to do it from my I will try to make a, 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 a short report on the discussion of several ideas. I will put it up on meta and uh, I know several people, not, not everybody, but I will ask you to comment on, on that page too if I miss any of your comments. I will keep it concise, but I've got some, some several good ideas on what, what might work, what might not work, or what should be in it. And, what cannot be done. Uh, I have. Uh, I, um, I want to ask something from you on MetaWiki. If in MetaWiki you type in in the search journal, then you come to the WCA journal. It is a kind of, uh, of a, a wallpaper. You can add a contribution. It's like a newspaper for the Wikimedia movement. And what you would write as a summary, I think it would be excellent for the journal. If someone has an idea or can report what you do in your chapter or in your country about uh, yeah, for friendly space. So uh, this would be really helpful and other people are more likely to find it than elsewhere on the meta. Okay. I, my suggestion, and uh, this might be terribly unwiki of me, um, don't, don't put it on meta publicly first. Circulate it to some people first that you know will support you. And then when you put your draft out on Meta and announce it, then canvas us and have us do a little bit of like supporting you on Wikimedia L and say, yeah, this is a good idea and here's why. Okay. Thank you. Is that terribly on Wiki? No, I totally agree. I, I found a page, Wikipedia column canvas, which says you're not allowed to. Guess what? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true. That's that, that's part 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 of the game. More but but I, 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 I will make a report for the discussion. I didn't say I, I will draft policy. But your suggestion is, if I do make a draft of a policy, is to circulate it first privately with a timeline uh, and say, hey, two weeks, let's talk about this. And I will be very happy to participate in a discussion, not just as a representative of the Wikimedia Foundation, not just as an advisory board member of the Ada Initiative, but just as a person who wants to do my work in a friendlier environment. Because this is my professional, this is my work environment, and I don't want it to be hostile. Okay. the list of developments will help us to coordinate your report, and you can send it to us. Okay. we make this with you? Yeah, I, I don't have to I'll do it. Here, if, you can, if you want, I'll just send a giant email to him with all your addresses or something. If you want to come to me yeah, after and give it to me or something. And, and then you need my email address. I'm sure I have it. Okay. And it's, it's very easy. It's ad mm -hmm. at wikimedia.nl. One, one more thing. There's a LGBT meeting on Saturday night. If anybody wants a flyer, I have them here. We're going to be talking about this also. Okay, that's great. Okay, great. See you at lunchtime. Hey folks, so let's see the next up.